Second down for the Braves, a pitch and catch. Flea Flicker, he's got a man downfield. He catches it, 10, five, touchdown Marcus McDonald. A 64 yard pitch and catch on the Flea Flicker, catches Mars Hill off guard, and just like that, the Braves have scored first in every single game that they have played this year. UNCP on top, six nothing. Talk about getting the offense going. A huge flea flicker play, tricking out the defense. Number four. Michael Johnson, the punter, from his own end zone. Jones will back up towards midfield, catches it at his own 45. Makes one man miss. Down the near sideline, Devin Jones. Inside Mars Hill territory, the best field position of the day so far for UNCP. As the Braves will line up first and 10 on the 13 yard line of Mars Hill. McDonald goes in motion from right to left. Sheridan gets the ball up the middle. Finds a seam off left tackle. Five, touchdown UNCP. We talked about Sheridan in the pregame and boy he gets on the board in the end zone to put the Braves up six. Jones lines up in the backfield with trips to his left. Gets the hand off to Sheridan up the middle. Bounces around, makes a couple of men miss. Josh Sheridan across midfield to the 40. Gets down to the 35. It looks like Fahim Diab, the 6'5 tight end, will remain in the game. UNCP lines up with two running backs and a tight end. So 21 personnel in for UNCP as they line up in the pistol gun formation. Sheridan alone set back with Sam Vines, his fullback. Lining up in front on the left side of Jones. Play action, end zone touchdown! Tyshawn Carter! And just like that, on the slant to Carter is a touchdown for UNCP and they retake the lead. Another beautiful day on the campus of UNC Pembroke. It's homecoming where the Braves of UNCP take on the Mars Hill Lions. Dave Nguyen, John Gross right here on the call. John, the Braves are coming off a devastating loss to the Carson Newman Eagles. Yeah, tough loss for UNCP. Went down as the most lopsided loss in program history, falling 69-18. to They really struggled defensively. They showed some bright spots in offense. The defense struggled, though, for UNCP, and they'll really have to fix some of those defensive issues that have plagued them, not just against Carson Newman, but throughout the season if they're going to have a chance to win today against Mars Hill. And they may need to fix the defensive issues quick because... The Mars Hill offense averages almost 400 yards a game, especially from wide receiver Craig Rucker, who has received NFL attention. Craig Rucker, one of the best wide receivers, possibly one of the best players that UNCP will face all season. Like you said, getting NFL attention. He plays wide receiver. They'll throw up on special teams. Any chance that Mars Hill can, can get to give him the football, he'll have the ball in his hands. A dangerous guy. UNCP has to find a way to limit him today. A dangerous guy who averages about 100 yards a game. The UNCP offense also needs to get going, too. They only scored 16 points against Carson Newman last week. It all starts with the quarterback, Josh Jones. It does. Josh Jones, only a sophomore, but he's made tremendous progress from his freshman season to this season, and especially at home, has been really successful at Grace P. Johnson Stadium. Just seems to be a little bit more comfortable. He's put up some big numbers, been an efficient quarterback. And for UNCP to help out Josh Jones, if they can get their rushing attack going, I think that'll benefit them even more. Take some of the burden off of Jones' shoulder, uh, get a guy like Josh Sheridan going, and this offense can be really tough to slow down. The last time we saw Josh Sheridan at home, he rushed for over 100 yards against Catawba. If he gets going, it'll put easy pressure off Josh Jones and allow the UNCP offense to be balanced and versatile at the same time. We'll come back after this on homecoming at the campus of UNC Pembroke. Kick off around the corner on the UNCP Sports Network. Fourth and 11 from the Braves 20. Six yard line, Sneed back to pass, three step drop. Airs it out and a pass break up. Great job by the UNCP secondary. The linebacker Jordan Howard on the break up. It's a turnover on downs and the Braves will set up on offense. A great defensive start for the second half. That's momentum going into this third quarter now as UNCP will now set up shop on offense in the second half. Josh Jones wants to keep things rolling. They were rolling at the end of the first half. 
If you're UNCP, you want to feed Josh Sheridan the football. He's been a monster in the game today. Jones out to Tyshawn Carter on the near side near the 30. They initially looked for the swing pass out to Sheridan on the far side. Instead, the fake to the screen to the near. A four-yard pickup makes it second down and six from the 29-yard line. Jones, hand off to Sheridan, tries to bounce off right tackle, but he is stuffed behind the line of scrimmage. It'll be a great job, good penetration by the Lions defensive line led by RJ Acevedo, as well as Tyler Sims. No gain officially on the play, so it's third and seven. A crucial down right here for UNCP, considering that the defense turned the lines over on downs moments ago. Sheridan will line up in the shotgun. Three-step drop. Wants to find Carter at the 40, and he does. Concentrates on the ball, puts the ball on his right shoulder pad to make the reception. Gets to the 40, a first down for UNCP. That's a huge first down. You need to let your defense rest some before getting out there on the field. UNCP keeping the chains going, letting that defense rest on the sidelines. A 10-yard reception for Carter from the 29 to the 39. Jones with an empty set. Sheridan and the slot at the bottom of your screen. Quick pass over to Quay 3 over the middle of the field. Towards midfield. Evades a couple tacklers. Quay 3 in Lions territory near the 40. Jones continuing the hurry up offense. And Quay Threat coming into the season wasn't even on our two deep depth chart. And now look at him. He's a major producer on offense for the Braves. And he has earned every opportunity that he has had. At home this year, he has nine catches for 128 yards and a touchdown. Looking to add more today. Jones with the shotgun on first and ten. Prince, the carry up the middle for a gain of maybe one as a host of Lions, or maybe a pride of Lions, I should say, on the stop. Maybe a one-yard gain it will be second down for UNCP. Speaking of Lions, they look hungry in the second half already. They have stopped the running game of UNCP thus far. After Josh Sheridan, that first half had 74 yards on the ground on just seven carries. A Mars Hill defense that has allowed 189 yards on the ground per game. Prince remains the lone setback. Three in the slot at the top of your screen. Jones on a three-step drop. Finds his man Fahim Diab across the 30 near the 25. Big second down reception for UNCP. As Fahim Diab, the big 6'5 tight end, continues to drive for the Braves. Fourteen yard reception from the forty two to the twenty eight. Jones in the shotgun. Finds Brown on the far side for a short gain near the twenty five yard line. It'll be second down for the Braves. Brown has been active quite a bit as there is a stoppage of play. Sean Brown, wide receiver. Six three freshman from Waxhaw, North Carolina. I am not a native of this state, Brandon. Where is Waxhaw? I have no clue to be honest with you. I'm okay. also a native of the state. I am a native of the state. I don't even know where Waxhaw is to be honest. I've heard of it. Never have. Stoppage of play, but the Braves trying to continue this drive, taking advantage of the turnover on downs. The crucial third down reception by Tyshawn Carter on the near side near the 30 has allowed the Braves to continue moving the chains. 
I also like how they're finding Fahim Diab. You got a 6'5 tight end on your team. You got to utilize him, right? Yeah, Mars Hill also has a 6'5 wide receiver on their squad. Jones hands the ball off to Prince up the middle. And it's good enough for a UNCP first down. Prince getting a bit of action as McKinley Nelson, I believe, was injured and has not seen action in today's game. So between Prince and Josh Sheridan, Prince had three carries for eight yards going into that first down pickup. But now the referees officially rule it. It's third and inches. And now they're going to call a timeout. I believe this might be a measurement timeout. There we go. As now the referees officially rule that it's a first down. The head referee, Mr. Max Melton. Braves continue the drive. First and 10 for the Braves on the Lions 19 yard line. Prince remains the lone setback with trips to the left. McDonald, the lone receiver on the near side at the bottom of your screen. Prince with the handoff up the middle. And he gets a big chunk on that play. It's gonna be second and short. About a seven yard gain to bring up second down and three as the clock continues to run. Just a little over six minutes left in the third quarter. Tie game at 22, the first offensive drive for UNCP. The second half started on a turnover on downs by the Mars Hill Lions as they had the ball on the 15 yard line of UNCP. Jones in the shotgun on second down and four officially. Prince gets the handoff off right tackle. A gain of a few, he's gonna be short of the marker. It's gonna bring up third and short for the Braves. And if you're UNCP, you need to put six on the board on this drive. You do, you need to get the momentum. You have a tie game right now with a tough opponent in Mars Hill. You need to get points on the board, particularly a touchdown at this point, because you know Mars Hill, they are going to fire on offense. They are going to score before the end of this game. It's almost inevitable the way that their offense has looked today. So the Braves do a hockey shuffle and substitutions. Empty backfield for Josh Jones. McDonald, the receiver on the near side, fires towards the end zone! Touchdown, Trey Dixon! Trey Dixon! His first touchdown reception as a Brave. The 6'2 redshirt freshman goes into the end zone on a, on a slant route for six, evades a couple tackles, and stumbles his feet into the end zone. He did not want to go down until he saw the black plane. Trey Dixon actually went to my alma mater high school, Scotland High School, where he was a wide receiver. Ball spotted, kick is away by Braswell, and the kick is good. An 11-play, 74-yard touchdown drive that took up five minutes and 48 seconds of clock, and the Braves of UNCP are back on top by seven here with five minutes left in the third quarter.